tell everyone. Ooh, starting with the fool's golf. So please welcome Officer Hugh Japussi. What the fuck? Is this a cold table read? If you have a disqualifying condition, you're a huge vagina. Steven isn't gonna like this. Roll it. Steven Crowder is out getting fake surgeries or fake raising his kids or pretending that he's got a wife. Dave Landau, Kumia's old co-host, fills in for Steven Crowder. He's supposed to be funny. He's supposed to be on. Does Steven S. Crowder know that he's bombing like this while he's away? In front of his father. There they come. Great move by Watch this. Fail. Eight men out. Ooh, starting with the fool's yeah. gulp. Oh, wow. That's not how you want to start a show. Look at that. Grumpy. Ooh, again, this is why you don't wear headphones. Look at that. Does that look Are cool? I'm so happy you can make fun of all headphones. I now? can make fun of all. Look how big they go. What, what needs to be in this gap? Here. Oh, wait. Look what's coming back. Check this out. World debut. Hold on. Uh oh. Oh, no. That's pliers. What I found. Check this out. Ooh, remember this? <laughs> Ooh. So, yeah, you don't want to wear these. See, it was worth the wait. Look at this pointer. It man. was worth it. This really shows what disrespect. What were you going to do? Reach toward exactly. him? Lunge at him? Here's his lips. Here's his nose. This is what his eyes are looking like. Wait, you don't need a physical pointer. You can just use your mouth. <coughs> oh. Hmm. So, this is uh, him being very nervous, and he should be. <sighs> That's soup. Ooh. Minestrone. Not oh, bad. Ooh. I like it a good Italian wedding soup in the morning. <laughs> now remember, this is the beginning of the show. This is beginning show energy. This is bombing. We're going to introduce you to Crowder's Fava. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy, everybody, and welcome to Louder with Crowder. DT Landau. Dave. There it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Worked on that Pretty for an good. hour. Now, where we don't have to be so uh, censored. Mm. Yeah. Gotcha. Not even so much censored in a way. I got. I just realized that was there. So somebody told him to go get that fucking bottle off. Crowder's watching right now from the doctor's office with his pregnant wife. <laughs> Didn't they already have the baby? Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, somebody could get that fucking bottle up and go, whoop. And then they cut to that blonde psycho. You shouldn't be blonde at that age, by the way, yeah. either. Like, come on, what's going on? There. <gasps> How dare you? Ooh. He laughs, but he's mad. Judy is dating a guy on Gemstones who she's yes. married to a guy oh that's God, just that's like perfect. him. BJ. BJ. Yes. From the Righteous Gemstones. This is BJ, but except. BJ is way nicer. BJ is way nicer, and BJ is less evil. And he works with the Gemstones. Yes. <laughs> they're Don't they're not a sponsor. The lawsuits will follow. That's fine. No big deal. <laughs> So will Area 51. <laughs> All right. Ooh, he's wearing one of his Target shirts. He's got an Area 51 Target screen printed shirts. You find these in a mess behind the Massimo. Okay? Under a V-neck somewhere, you could find this. And Dave couldn't look chubbier or shorter or stumpier. And he, believe me, he's sitting up as straight as it goes. Even Pat Oswald's looking at this going, I'm kind of like a thin, bigger guy. So, Dave, you haven't grown since I've been gone. You admit you're 5'6", a despicable height. You know, you can't be 5'6". You can't be 5'6 and on TV. Be 5'6 on your own time. Don't be 5'6 in front of us. Doesn't exist, Dave. What are you talking about? No, it's not. Wait, Jimmy Crowder's dead. Well, well, they told us they're aliens. They don't like, put us there. Like twenty twenty, and we were like, we don't care. <laughs> That's how bad twenty twenty was. <laughs> they were just like, they were like, yeah, aliens. Yeah. Nah, whatever. Fine. I've yeah, seen the get movie. Get bigger frist to fry. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> uh, well, uh, let's introduce everybody yeah. because we're already starting it up. Gerald A. How are you, sir? Good morning. Gerald A. Okay, Gerald Oof. A. What does the A stand for? Like Lady A. Alchemy, it must be alchemy. There it is. We finally found Lady Alchemy's brother, Gerald A. Gerald Alchemy. He, he looks concerned. Alchemy. He, hates he looks crap. concerned. Gerald. Imagine if you don't change your name to G Easy as a Gerald, you might be a Christian Can't psycho. You. Morning, ahoy. I'm, I'm, I'm doing I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Did I ask? I didn't ask. 
How are you? Why didn't you ask? How's the new baby? <laughs> Baby's fantastic. Another new baby. Everybody's got a new baby. Nobody's ever home. Isn't that interesting? You can, like, log these guys' hours because they're on social media all day. They're never with the kids that they claim they'd kill me over. Interesting. Sleep is getting better, but it's still hard to come by. I've learned that you just shouldn't prize sleep in life. You don't get it early, you don't get it late, nope. and then you don't get it when you have kids. And so I'm just like, ah, screw it. Have you sleep tried shaking dead. the baby? Only enough. <laughs> that, oh, yeah, just enough to make sure he sleeps. Well, of course. He's pressing a button right now under his desk that is alerting Crowder that Dave is making <laughs> off-color jokes about his child. Uh, shake the baby? <laughs> Very funny. Steven. You won't believe what he's doing. He's goofing around again in an unconservative manner. Uh, please welcome Craw Daddy. Oh, oh no. Craw Daddy. Here he is, Jules. Talk. Craw Daddy. Best be on their best behavior while talking about my boy Steven. I mean, really? Have you ever seen anything worse than this? Craw Daddy, they call him. The overlooker of all things suspicious. Dave, I've got my eye on you, boy. <laughs> and Crowder does jujitsu with this man. They actually, that's his like scat partner, map partner, where they roll around wrestling each other to the ground. Another Cal like situation. Yeah, well, you guys can. You we can switch see. right now if you want. I think it's good. You want to do musical see how chairs? Goes. I see just how want goes. to see what you I can sing. <laughs> Please don't. Do you know what I'm doing? <laughs> no. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. So let's fast forward to the part where Dave bombs. So you've all seen these shows where they have like a little skit or a sketch, right? We've they all seen fun. these programs. They have fun. Uh, and we've all seen shows that like bring in a character. Like every late night show has, uh, you know, brought on a character that they do a silly sketch with. Conan used to do this all the time. He'd bring in, like, uh, the masturbating bear or some fucking stooge that they do a fake back and forth with. We've seen this. And Crowder does it, too. We're only 52 minutes in, so he's not too tired. But watch this, and it's coming up right after this. Laying entry to the classroom. They're talking about the shooting, And that the delay was against protocol. Yeah, and to be clear, he's refusing... Or has refused to respond to an interview request, and that's what we're mostly talking about right now. Okay, well, Chief uh, Chief Arredondo gotcha. failed, uh, yeah, to respond to our request to as well. as well. Yeah, which is why, but we were able to get the interim chief, and we do believe that they should be, you know, here to tell their side. Uh, so please welcome one of the officers that was on scene, Officer Hugh Japussi. Huge a puss. Okay, so this is where bit starts. Now, even the intro is pretty weak. Uh, so, you know, there is a shooting, so, uh, please, uh, welcome, officer, uh, You don't even know, a, you don't even know a bit's about to come up. No. Yeah, you gotta enunciate. I've been dead for a whole year, even I could go, coming up next, we got a great guy, he's a huge Japussy, <laughs> which is the name of this character because he's gonna represent a huge bitch, a beta, right? I'm like, Dave... <laughs> Huge, huge pussy, yes. Uh-oh. Dave? Uh, hello, uh, huge pussy. Now you're on. How are you? Okay, and he's in the studio, so it's not like now you're on. I mean, he's he's right but there. that just actually made me think, what if something was happening that made him pissed off right before this? Well, that I don't want to give him any outs here. Okay. So let's do the first round where we pretend Dave uh, viciously screwed up, and then the next round could be... Something bad happened that's even worse than him bombing. I like it. Love it. Here is huge pussy. And now you can see, okay, it's one of these bits where the talk show host interviews a character. Great. He's dressed in a big pussy outfit. He's got a cigarette. He's got a police baton. And Crowder has used that costume like 20 times. Oh, has he? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And he's got a police hat. And this guy came. He was ready to do the bit. This guy probably would have been good. So here's Dave. Here's Hugh Pussy. Oh, uh, I'm great. Uh, one of your employees wouldn't let me in, so I'm uh, sorry. Uh, we, yeah, we, we tried to buzz you in almost an hour ago. There's uh, footage from our ring camera. Watch this. Uh, no, there's not. 
Yeah, there there is. Okay, so first of all, this isn't going too well, is it? Like, where's the charisma? Am I missing something? Is there a big punchline about to come? But uh, he keeps staring down. Look at this. So it's very distracting. Keeps staring down as if he needs to read like a script in order to do, to do this very easy like exchange with huge pussy. I mean, I mean, everyone sh- knows the joke. The officers yeah. waited outside. They're pussies. Yeah, we get it. And uh, surely everybody has like little notes to go to. You glance at them and you go back. You and should you... really be able to spitball on a topic that's been so discussed. Yeah. So uh, watch this. Calls to follow in these types of situations. I don't think you do. It's an interview. Yeah. Watch mm-hmm. this. Uh, easy for you to say, civilian. You're not in the military. In fact, I think you have a disqualifying condition. You're a huge vagina. What? What the is f- this a cold table read? Why is he saying it like that? Because he's clearly reading the script word for word <laughs> off his iPad Pro with the keyboard stand. But he's even doing like a camp skit type cadence. Yeah, so this gets a bit worse, too. And again, it's like, you don't have to do this every day. You're filling in. It's pretty basic. It's pretty easy. You don't really need to have this stuff memorized. You can kind of wing it. Ooh, it's an interview. Yeah. Uh, easy for Watch you to this. say, civilian. You're not in the military. In fact, I think you have a disqualifying condition. You're a huge vagina. True. But it's better that I am safe and sorry. Can't be too careful. What? That's not how it goes. No. no. What? So wait, so that's why you didn't... Ooh, and then Christianity... Christianity sees that they flood the script and he goes, that's not how it goes. Stephen isn't going to like this. Ooh. That's not how it goes. The story of your life, huh? You don't want that guy upset with you. You know, this is the guy who actually is watching over this place when Crowder's gone. And then you got Crowder's dad. Did you flub my boy's lines? He's like the judge from My Cousin Vinny. Very unreasonable. Okay, so let's see. This, in fact, gets worse. So that's why you didn't take the shooter down faster? Because you wanted to protect yourself? Darn tootin'. Uh, Watch this. Really, it's your job to protect and serve. It's my job to serve the public interest, meet quotas with arbitrary traffic tickets, and to stop people so from... So this the- is no longer a... Be- like, now this is for sure, like, where you're just going over the script at a table <laughs> rehearsing. But this was supposed to be the live bit. It's clear now that they've both given up, and they're both just reading the lines <laughs> monotone to get through the bit. So let's see what happens. <laughs> the public interest, meet quotas with arbitrary traffic tickets, and to stop people from getting haircuts. Stuff like that. Uh, you know, I think we're just about done here. Oh, is that a spider? Oh, oh my gosh. My, uh, whoa, what? Oh, well, he's, Are wow. you wow. terrified? Oh. If only a teacher wow, had left that you... door propped open so I could escape. Oh, just oh pull gosh. harder. Oh. You twist the handle. What the fuck? And there. And you Look at this. Open it up. Do, do a workout or something. Dave, you're a lifesaver. Yeah, you're not. Let it ride. Maybe it's this time of the month. Look at this. I don't know. I think so. Huge a pussy, everybody. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) What's this about? I can't believe that this exists. Did somebody, like, tell him that he's been measured live on the show or something like that? What? happened have you ever seen look how he ends this bit watch this <laughs> forget the fart that's him it's not one of the clients look Maybe at this it's this time of the month i don't know i think so huge a pussy everybody i thought we told people not to smoke in here uh, uh i i don't tell up, huge a pussy what to do i grew up with cigarettes so it's a r- little reminder of why i'm only five six yeah. You're five cents! So what went wrong? That's what we mean. We don't even know how this bombing took place. We should see if we can interview Dave about what went wrong. I'm surprised all the conservatives don't hate him like they hate Ethan Klein. Because this was a bombing. 
I do realize that is not all police. This is a very different and delicate situation. Oh, and then you have but, to apologize uh, to cops. Yeah, just in case 90% of your audience is cops, which they are. Dave Landau on Crowder, he's doing good, huh? Very, 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 very funny. Loved it.